Welcome to Frame Dropped. It seems more and more people are buying games digitally instead of getting a physical copy. But are discs actually dying? What are the pros and cons of both? And which gaming medium will we see in the future? Stick around, because as always, we will try to answer these questions today. So let's start with the numbers. Do people nowadays actually buy more digital than physical games? Well, a recent study published by the ESA shows that until the year 2013, about half of all game purchases were digital. But the numbers got continually larger in favor of downloads. By the year 2017, only 21% of all games bought that year have been physical copies. So we definitely see a trend there. But let's look at the number three reasons why people either buy a game digitally or physically. Please note that I didn't include price because there are good and bad deals regardless of where you buy and also the file size because nowadays you have to install the whole game anyway so this won't make a difference. The one argument that I hear the most is physical copies can be traded in, sold or borrowed. Many people tend to buy used games because they're cheaper. And keep in mind that those numbers do not show in the statistics because if you sell a game to a friend or via a garage sale the transaction will obviously not be tracked. But also note that there already are realized plans for trading digital downloads back in after you finish playing, in order to get back some of your money spent. Number two, and this is an often overlooked reason in favor of physical games, you have them for as long as you keep them and they cannot simply disappear from the store someday. Imagine this, you bought a PS4 and have your hard drive full of thousands of dollars worth of digital games. Now, in the year 2038, you still plug in your retro PS4 from time to time to play all of your games. What if, by then, Sony has pulled the plug on the PlayStation Store because people have moved on to other systems? Or what if Sony doesn't even exist anymore? You still have all your games, sure, but if your console breaks one day, you have no way of re-downloading everything and you are screwed. If you think that this scenario is way too obscure, well, that's exactly what happened with the Nintendo Wii Shop. And the Wii isn't that old, is it? You can only re-download your purchases until January the 30th, 2019, and after that, you'll have to pray. And unlike a conventional gramophone disc, this is totally proof against fingerprints and dust. And last but not least, this is the reason why I still prefer physical games, yep, I said it, they are collector's items. I like to display and collect them and I'm certain many of you can identify with that as well. It somehow feels better to know that you have a shelf full of games instead of a hard drive where you can't see them. And in some instances they can even be worth more than you paid for after a couple of years. What are arguments in favor of digital downloads? First, they are less expensive. No, not for you, but for the publisher. They don't have to consider manufacturing, packaging, shipping and retail space and therefore have to spend way less for a digital game. In fact, many indie developers cannot afford to release their games physically. And if digital downloads weren't a thing, we would have probably missed out on some extraordinary experiences. Digital games can also be downloaded again and again at least until the mentioned horror scenario comes along. So they are automatically backupped and linked to your account, which means that even if your house burns down, you still have your wonderful game library. And let's be honest, the real reason why people download games is because it's convenient. You don't have to actually go out and buy something. Okay, depending on where you live, you can order physical copies online, and if you're lucky, you can play even a little before they're officially released, but you can activate the automatic download, play it after midnight on a release day, and you do not even have to get up to change the disc. Believe me, that's the main reason I hear people saying they prefer digital over physical. You also don't have to worry about supply. A digital game is always available as long as the servers are running and there's an online connection. So what is going to happen to physical games? Will the future be 100% digital? Let me say one thing. No, I don't think so. I can't imagine that disc or cartridge based games are going to die out, at least in the foreseeable future. And here's why. Games openly displayed in stores promote the system. If you are a non-gamer but you always see Xbox games displayed in stores, you might become interested in looking into that and maybe trying it out. Sure, if your grandma wants to buy you something for your birthday, she can still buy you a gift card if there are no games around, but physical copies promote the brand and the companies that make them are aware of that. If games disappear from hardware stores completely, they might, little by little, become a niche thing that are only known in a closed community. Okay, okay, I hear you scream, 
But what about PC games? Steam is a very successful online-only platform and there are hardly any physical PC games anymore. And if there are, they mostly consist of an empty box and a download code. PC gaming hasn't become a niche thing, has it? And you know what, folks? You're absolutely right. But PC isn't a company or a platform that has the need to promote itself. There is not only one type of PC. You can buy thousands of different PCs and even build your own. And it doesn't matter where you get your games from, be it Steam or Origin or Uplay, you still play them on the PC of your choice and therefore it is not a brand that needs promotion. Because it is the only way to play games other than on a console or a mobile device. So this is completely different. The proof that publishers also notice that there is a market for collectors out there is that there are more and more collector's editions and they are being bought. Yeah, the newest trend is obviously to release set editions without the actual game. Yes, I'm looking at you, Red Dead Redemption 2. But let's just hope that that won't be the norm. There are special edition controllers and consoles and steelbooks and so on. So it seems that collectors are still valuable customers to game publishers and companies. Also, although we live in the future, internet speeds are still pretty terrible in some parts of the world. Heck, even in some parts of North America and Europe. And not everyone has an internet connection. This is getting better, but file sizes are getting bigger as well. On the other hand, we also have examples like the upcoming Spyro Remastered Trilogy that only packs the first game on the disc and requires you to download the other two. Some people think that this is going to be the norm in order for gamers to get comfortable with an online-only future. I for my part hope that that's not true and that we will have physical copies for as long as possible. In the film industry, there is still a market for DVDs, Blu-rays and now 4K Blu-rays that is still doing quite well despite of what many people are thinking and that although there are much more alternatives in the film industry, such as Netflix, TV and cinema. As long as there's still a market, it will be produced. But if the major companies really decide to drop physical games from their lineup, it is likely that at least one company will keep doing it to attract all people who still want to buy them. And let's face it, it'll probably be Nintendo. But for now, we should celebrate that we still live in a world where we have both. What do you think? Do you prefer physical or digital games? Do you disagree with our opinion? Tell us in the comments below and be sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you next time!